Hello, my peeps. You may or may not be seeing this right now. I am waiting for things to show up, and they are not showing up. Is the technology fun? <laughs> I do not know why. Just a minute, I got two volumes going here. I do not know why. I can master something one week, and it's just a gong show the next. But <laughs> such, such is life. Uh, let's see. I, I appear to be live. We, we figured that out now. I got. I have enough devices on my desk telling me things. I'm also, no matter what I do, I cannot seem to stay in frame. All right, let's get it in a minute. Uh, the YouTube did not go well. I really was trying that. It is spring cleaning season though. So that means that I'm going to pull everything out of this office at some point. I also need to do a little adjustment on the size of how everything fits in here. Um, and so I'm hoping if I pull everything out, hello Dana, and I give everything a good clean and purge and I reset it all up again and I do exactly what I did before because that used to work, <laughs> then maybe I'll have some better luck. Um, right now my desk is there. I've had so much going on the last few weeks that, uh, my desk is a bit of a disaster. Maybe I just need to clean that up and it'll, you know, put positive energy in the room to, to make it work. Um, so let's see if I can get the comments on the big screen. I got them on my little screen, but for some reason it's not, it's not showing me what I want. So I'm looking in two different places, trying to find two different things. And it's not telling me where my comments went on my big screen. It's okay that they're only on the little one. The thing is, I can't... I can't seem to make them constantly stay on there on my iPad. That's the problem. I don't know enough about my iPad to make them constantly stay up. Oh, here we go. Found them. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at me. Solving my own problems and making it work. Now... Let's see what we have to talk about today. Oh, hello, Marlene. Um, this is really funny. I, so I have two computers. <laughs> this, is, this is just to add to the challenge while I ramble a minute and give people the chance to join in. Um, <laughs> so on my iPad, the comments come way faster. Things pop up on there way faster than they do on my computer. On my computer, things are like very slow. And that on, that's on Facebook. And that's even slower than what is actually happening on my screen streaming software, which is telling me what I'm doing now. Cause what I'm doing now is not what you're seeing because there's quite the lag in between. So this is part of the fun of live videos. And yep, I'm just going to drink my tea right in front of everybody. Sorry. Um, had such a good time this weekend with our extravaganza. And, uh, but I am feeling, I am feeling some of the, um, the effects. I, it's a bit of an extravaganza hangover. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of talking through a mask. So you're projecting a bit more and making it all work. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't seem to be making my comments, um, update on my big screen. <laughs> well, we're going to wing it. We're going to see how this goes. Okay. So let's get started because I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so as you know, we've discussed catalogs before, but just as a little bit of a recap, we have these little mini brochures that come out when we have celebration, which used to be once a year. Now it's twice a year. Well, it's, I think they're still in the test phase. So we'll see how this year goes with the twice a year and then see what they decide. We have the mini catalog, which is still current, which has the lovely tulip set in it, among other things. Um, and this catalog will go till June. So this one has more seasonal stuff. There's too many catalogs a year, right? This is uh, January to June, so it's got all the spring occasions. It usually has some extra baby stuff in it. I can't remember now if it does this time. Uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, spring type stuff. Valentine's, Easter, and then the July to December catalog is, is you know, any events that happen in those six months. So there's Thanksgiving, Halloween, and a whole lot of Christmas. So those are our mini catalogs. But the big granddaddy of them all, <laughs> grandmother of them all, is the annual catalog. And it comes out very soon. And I got to tell you, I, I, I know right now that my sister 
if she sees this, is going to be like, you are such a nerd. Yep, I know. Uh, <laughs> and I will own that every day of the week. I'm totally fine with that. I get very excited <laughs> about certain things. So with the annual catalog, a lot of stuff happens. And I will recap some of this in my newsletter tomorrow, which, by the way, my newsletter tomorrow will be coming out a little bit later than normal. Normally, it's supposed to be noon. Um, so here's the thing. I'll just, I'll just share the how Tracy's losing her mind. Um, I wrote down, we started planning our extravaganza, extravaganza on the, before Christmas and it was on the 19th of March. So for months, I knew that Saturday was the 19th of March. And yet somehow when I woke up on Sunday, I was convinced it was the 21st, that it was the first day of spring and that the 23rd, which was when all this stuff comes out. And, and I get it was probably just cause I really wanted it to be sooner rather than later, but I was convinced that it was. Tuesday, when all this stuff is going to come out. It is, in fact, tomorrow. So for the last three days, I have been so screwed up on what day of the week it is. Um, but in my head, when I planned this all, I thought, this is great. We'll get all this information on Tuesday. I can share it on Tuesday afternoon when we go live, and then I can recap it on Wednesday. But unfortunately, the new catalog PDF, which there's lots of reasons, many, many reasons why you should be a Stampin' Up! demo. They're like, best job ever. But one, if nothing else, is tomorrow at one o'clock, I get to see a PDF of the new catalog. I don't actually get to see the paper one. And yes, I get very excited, even if I've seen the PDF 87 times, to actually look at the paper copy for the first time. Nerd alert! Nerd alert! Um, but I get very excited about it. But anyways, I get to see the PDF tomorrow because I'm a demo. Uh, customers, the catalog goes alive on the 3rd of May. So you have to wait a bit. Added bonus of a demo. We get to see it earlier than you. We also get to order earlier. So we get to actually order on the 1st of April so that we can get the stuff in so we can show it to you guys so you have a guys have a better you know idea when you're making your orders. So yeah, still lots of time. You can, jo you can join on the 1st of April. You could buy the starter kit and order the stuff in the starter kit that's in the new catalog. Like, advantages to be a demo, I, I tell you. But, but my biggest advantage is I don't have to wait because I am not known for my patience. Never could have been a doctor. But a bum here all week. Uh, so yes, so this is the new annual catalog. So we get to see a bunch of stuff tomorrow. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you as much as I can today, and then I'm going to, um, recap it tomorrow. And like I said, I'll put my newsletter a little bit late. I would like to say, you know, quarter after one ish because everything goes live at one, but there's 50,000 demonstrators in Stampin' Up. Um, and I don't know that it matters that there's about 5,500 of them are in Canada. There's, I think it's like the European market and the South Pacific market are probably similar. And then the bulk of them are in the States. But for some reason, <laughs> no matter where you are in the world, when we go to get that stuff tomorrow, it is going to feel, um, oh, see, look at that. It's going to feel like 50,000 people are logging onto the website at the same time. Sorry, I got totally distracted by a comment. Um, and so sometimes it takes a bit before we can actually get the stuff and get it to download, but I will nonetheless do that. Um, I got you there, Danelle. Yeah, I, I, um, I feel like sometimes I should do stuff later, but at the same time, I'm so excited that sometimes I cannot wait. So you'll, um, yeah, this might be easier to rewatch later where you can stop and pause and make notes. Cause I got lots of info to tell. Okay. So new annual catalog comes out. Now the annual catalog used to be a June thing. It used to come out in June. Um, and they switched it because the minis used to be different months. So a couple of years ago, they switched everything. So in case you're wondering, yes, this is a bit, this is a second or third year now that it's come out for the 1st of May. So basically there's a whole bunch of stuff in this catalog. Some of it will carry forward and will be in the next annual catalog. There's some that's been in annual catalogs for years. I think the one stamp set, which is now retired, but it was in, I don't know. I think it ran for 20 years in the catalog. Um, a lot of stuff is in one catalog and then it goes away. Some stuff is bundled, which means you buy a stamp set and a punch or stamp set and dies. And when they first come out in the catalog, they're bundled together. So you get 10% off if you buy them at the same time. Sometimes they will carry over to the next catalog, but they won't be bundled then. So you can buy the stamp set and you can buy the dies. You just don't get a discount buying them together. So some of that will go away. So, and sometimes like the stamp set will retire, but the, um, the punch will stay or the dies will stay. So part of it was, so there's all sorts of fun. Um, the one thing we know for sure that retires is there's a set of in colors. 
And that, we've talked about colors before. I don't want to go too much into it, but I get so excited about the end colors. <laughs> um, I get just get so excited. I'm going to put this down here for now because it's in my way. This is what we have to talk about today. I like to have some props. Um, I was trying to make my computer or er, camera work a little better. There's actually that many. But for some reason, it's just not working. I have to be careful I don't go too far. Or you will notice that I am actually just wearing pajama bottoms today. <laughs> so these are all my little notes. <laughs> so, uh, gathering. This was my word I wrote down here because we had so much fun. Um, this, I'm going to put that back so I don't forget to do that at the end. Um, this weekend. And there's so much to it. Oh, so many plans. Okay. So one of the big things <laughs> coming out of the catalog is the in colors. Now, sometimes we don't know. Last year they did... Last year, Stampin' Up! did little teasers, but if memory serves me, they didn't actually tell us till we saw the catalog. They were just giving little hints, and we had to try to guess. And then on the day of the catalog, we saw. Well, this time, they're actually telling them to demonstrate. So I, I started sharing those this morning. I didn't want you to have to wait the five days I had to wait. Like, they started them on Friday, and they're doing one color a day, and I'm like, oh, it's killing me. So I started putting them up this morning, and I don't even know what the fifth color is yet, because they gave the teaser this morning, and I... Some of the guesses are good. I will tell you. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched them yet. Um, I I guessed summer sorbet for the first one, and it's actually called sweet sorbet. But I I suspect I will call it the wrong name for quite a while before I get used to it because in my head I'm like, oh, summer sorbet. I was pretty close. Um, the tide one. Oops, sorry, I wasn't going to say. I was close on that one. The other one I was not even at all close on. And thank you, uh, Danelle, for guessing macaw. Because when I looked at the picture of the bird, I was like, oh my God, I don't know enough about birds. I, don't, I can't even guess at this one. I, like, my guess was pretty lame because I could think of one bird. <laughs> um, and, uh, but oh, my goodness, you guys. They are some fun colors. Oh, they are nice and bright and beachy and summery and just what we need right now. So the last one will be tonight when we actually know what it is. But here's the thing with the in colors. So these are, these ones are current. In colors run for two years. There's always two sets and they overlap. So these are the new ones that came out last year. And they will go this year and next year. And then they'll retire in next year's catalog. There's a, a set of them that are retiring this year. And Smart Money would have had me having some kind of thing to show you what they were. Um, they're on our Monday Challenge graphic. But So Cinnamon Cider, which I absolutely love. It is the perfect gingerbread color. Um, Bumblebee, awesome yellow, uh, Just Jade, which is a really rich green, uh, Magenta Madness, pop of color there, I tell you, um, very, very bold pink, and Misty Moonlight, which oh, is such a nice smoky blue, it's one of my favorites. Um, so those five colors are retiring. So I can tell you that tomorrow when they announce the retiring list, uh, that's it. Some of that stuff has already sold out, but that's the first stuff that's going to go. People, people know that it's going to go. So, okay. So I'm just, there's two things. So there's two things you have to know. One, there's the excitement of the new stuff. And when the new stuff comes out, I'm going to go with the exciting stuff first. Um, I do an in color club, right? So these were last year's. This is just the first card of last year's. So what happens when it comes in is there, there'll be new paper ink pads, re-inkers, markers, blends, some embellishments, some ribbon or twine, and potentially um, some vellum or some doilies or some other little accessory that makes awesome cards. So with last year's, uh, did I say DSP? There's DSP as well. So this little package of DSP came in and there were sheets that had like two different patterns. So you actually get four patterns. There's two different sheets. They each had their own ribbon. They had some of these adorable embellishments that came in three of the colors. And then, you know, it's on one of these. And then a package of these gems that came in all five colors. And they all color coordinated. So what happens is you have like just this plethora of new in color stuff to get. So what I've done is I've made three options. One, if you want to get one of everything, just let me know because I will. And so I will have it all figured out ahead of time and I will have figured out the best way to get it. And by best way to get it, what I mean is when you order a certain amount of product, if you go over $200, you get stamping rewards. And if depending on if it's celebration or not, you might get free stuff. So I always, I always work out, okay, so if I order this much, how do I get the, the most for free? So I will have figured out how much it's going to cost to order one of everything, full size everything, 
and this is what it costs and if you order it this way then you can use your stamp and rewards and you can add this you know and do it that way there's that option there's the option of instead of full-size ink pads if you just like little ink spots then i i sort of put together a sampler package where i'll order a pack of paper and i'll split it four ways five ways um i can't remember what i did last year sometimes it, i have to redo it every year because it depends on what they come out with and how many things are in it if it's if it's um, an embellishment that has 24 then chances are i'm dividing it by four if it's an embellishment that has 30 then i can probably make it divide by five so it, it's it, it all depends on what comes out but i will make a sampler so if you would like a little bit like and i'll just take a roll of ribbon and i'll cut it in I'll, they're usually 10 yards so i'll cut two yards five times right so it's a sampler packet some sheets of cardstock some sheets of dsp bit of ribbon bit of this and instead of full size i make just little ink spots and then depending if they have blends markers whatever your personal choice is and how it all works up price wise um i will add on like a set of those you can't really divide those up because then you don't have all colors so it's either a set of so we'll see how that, that works out so we have the i want it all packaging all at once or here's a little sampler of everything and then i also do a color club so you can get the same you can get all of the same stuff but you do it over five months so you're basically offsetting the cost over five months but you still get all the advantages of doing it right you order it at the beginning because then the stuff that i can bulk order and do for cheaper will go so because there's five colors each month you get one color so the first month you would get this color you would get the cardstock the paper the ink pad the ribbon everything you would i would give it to you and when i give you your order i would throw in a couple little extra pieces so you could make a card here this is a better example Maybe I'd throw in a few die cuts so you can make this card. And then the next month you get a different color and the next month you get a different. So at the end of five months, you get them. And each month you get the bonus of some card designs that I will send up. This one happens to be all the same. It was just made in five different colors. Um, but each month you would get one. So the first month you get a card design that has one color on it. Cause right now you have one color and, and I don't, I don't actually count white as the color. I mean the end color. So you would get, uh, you know something that coordinates with the color you get and then the second month i'll give you card designs that work with two colors and then the next three colors four colors right so granted you probably have an entire room full of stuff but if you wanted to just work on in color stuff i give you a bunch of designs and it doesn't even mean you have to do them in in colors right you can do whatever you want so i get very excited about the in colors i love all the new stuff and it's just a great chance for like all the creativity to just shine so that's the in colors going forward uh, like I said, this so this I have this big thing here. Last chance. When they when they when I first started with Stampin' Up, which is ten years ago in April. Watch for some big exciting things in April. Ten year anniversary. Um, it was called the retiring list, right? So there were certain products that retired out of the catalog, and I can speak to it. Retirement is awesome. <laughs> Retirement is fun, um, and it's a good thing, right? So, but I I don't know if if they changed it and, and in a way this makes so much more sense because for m almost everything on that list this will be your last chance to get it there is the occasionally where something that retires out of the catalog if they still have stock left after the retirement time is over like basically they will sell stuff until it's out of stock or until the end of april and then it just that's it once you go to, so even if there's stuff left you can't go on the first of may and say oh i forgot i want to buy this nope you, this is the sales period now sometimes if there's a significant amount of something left over it might show up a year or two later on the clearance rack deeply discounted and and if it goes on the clearance rack like that it then it tends to go very fast so it's kind of hard to get but um but there's no guarantee that's going to happen so really when they say last chance it is and so i think i think part of this was to help people if there is something in this catalog that you want the the okay so the the hundred percent way to guarantee it is order it today <laughs> if, if it still shows available today order it today now you can get it um your next best chance though is wait till tomorrow when they announce this list now the thing with the people waiting till tomorrow is some of this stuff is going to go on sale now it's generally not in color stuff in color stuff sells out no problem they don't ever put it on sale why would they um, but some of the stamp sets, some of the dies, some of the embellishments might go on sale. Sometimes the sale is 10%. Sometimes the sale is 50%. It, anywhere in between. We, we don't know. None of us know this until one o'clock tomorrow when we see that list. So, so make a list today. Of, and if there's anything in here you want, the sooner you order it, the better chance you have you're going to get it. 
because um, once it starts selling out, so stamps, because Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps and they make them in Utah, so there's not the big shipping issues. Uh, they have a factory a couple hours south of their office in Kanab. I would love to go there one day and see how they do it. Um, they make their own. So they're, and, and I can't remember the exact date, but chances are it's about the third week of April. They will guarantee that if you order that stamp set, you can get it. But basically everything else is while supplies last. Right? And some of the stuff, you know, there's been shipping issues for the last two and a half years. Two and a half, two years. <clears throat> so waiting is, is, is dicey this time like if you if there's something you have to have now's the time now we will know tomorrow at one o'clock when we send out the list so if it doesn't show up as being on the retiring list then that means it's going carrying forward in the catalog right um you won't actually get to see the catalog but if there was something in here you were waiting for and you don't see it on that list that means it'll be in the next catalog but the stuff on the list it's going to go fast they will announce at one o'clock tomorrow and by supper time tomorrow certain stuff will have sold out like I said, stuff has already sold out in anticipation of this and because they keep having sales or celebration or other, other incentives to buy so people stock up. So this is what I'm saying. Last chance, they mean last chance. Here's another thing that is happening that is going to... Actually, there's two more things that are going to inspire people to buy more. There's this. This sale is currently going on. I, I mentioned it in my newsletter before. I don't know if I mentioned it in a live. So the mini cut and emboss machine which for one thing is absolutely adorable, but two is super, super convenient, is currently on sale for 20% off. And then there's a whole bunch of die sets, like bundles that have dies with them, that are also 20% off. <clears throat> and these are all smaller scale dies because they fit through this machine. So the big Stampin' Emboss machine has a six inch wide base. So you could put a six inch piece of paper and a die up to that width, go, put it through to cut. This one has a three inch wide base. So part of this is designed for, I just need to cut a quick label, right? You don't need to pull out this big machine to cut a quick little label. Or if you're gonna take it to a, a Stampin' event, or you're gonna take it out to the lake for the weekend, or you're gonna take it to your kid's school or whatever. So there's this smaller machine and it has a few little quirks to it, but once you get used to this thing, oh my God, this thing's, it is an awesome little machine. And it if, if you could see my whole desk, you see how I'm showing you this nice little part where I've got all my stuff laid out so I don't forget anything. Yeah, it is, it is six inches deep everywhere else. So if your desk tends to look like mine all the time, this takes up a whole lot less space too. It's half the price of the other one. Actually, right now it's half the price. Normally it's, it's um, I want to say $85. You, I, would, I really should have looked that up ahead of time. And the, the full-size machine is just under the cost of a starter kit because you can get a starter kit for $165. Starter kit, always the best deal. And I think this, I think the full-size machine is 163. Um, when you get it through the starter kit though, you don't pay shipping and tax, which is awesome. So this is on sale right now. So a lot of people are going to wait. They've already got their list made of all this stuff. This sale goes to the end of March. So they're going to wait and see what's on sale tomorrow to add to the stuff that's already on sale. And they're all going to order as soon as they see that list. So that's going to inspire more sales. Here's the other one, <laughs> the almighty coin. Now, I was, I was looking and I thought, geez, I, I wonder if I have a loony. I can bring out a loony as a prop. But then I was shuffling things around on my desk. And I don't know if you were... Was this, was this only last week? When I made these lovely little hats. <laughs> and I was trying to find chocolate coins to put in them. I did finally get my Lucky Charm little bars in the, in the mail. So this is what they ended up being. Because I couldn't find the chocolate coins. But anyways, I did find plastic coins. So we have our Lucky Leprechaun coin as a prop today. Um... Prices are going up in April on April 1st. So that will inspire more sales in March. Uh, actually, some of them, sorry, um, some of them are going up with the new catalog. Some are going up on April 1st. So the first one is shipping. Right now, if you buy up to a, up to $100, I'll just say $100, it's $99.95 or something. But if you buy up to $100 worth of product, you pay $9.95 shipping, flat rate. Once you spend over $100, you pay 10% shipping. So if you spend $120, you pay $12 in shipping. Now, as of April 1st, the shipping charges are going up. And up to $100, you will now pay $10.95. Hence the loony, pretend loony. So, so even just on a basic order, the minimum you're going to pay more is a dollar. Right? Now, most of the time, you're probably not even going to notice that. It'll just roll into the cost of it. Um, it's the same on a bigger order. So I'll, I'll pick a different number just to show off my math skills. So now if you order... 100, oh, I shouldn't have done that. If you order 
worth of stuff, whereas before it would have been $15, now it's going to be $16.50 for shipping, right? There's going to go from 10% to 11%. So that 1%, 10% was so much easier to figure out. 11% I don't think is a huge amount more, but it is more. It's 1% more. <laughs> so you're going to pay a little bit more in shipping. Then when the new catalog comes out, um, so the, the price of stamps went up a few years ago, and this is just the cost of supplies, the cost of shipping, the cost of everything, right? So paper had gone up a few years ago, stamps had gone up a few years ago. In the 10 years I've been with Stampin' Up, I have not seen a ton of price increases, right? Like, so this is not, they're constantly rising prices. Um, but a bunch of stuff is going to go up this year. So some of the embellishments, ink, actually paper was quite a while ago, I think, because paper's going up a little. Now we don't know until we see the new catalog what the price increases are, but there will be price increases on a good portion of what's in that catalog. Now when they went the last time, it seems to me there was stuff like, you know, before it was 975, now it's 1050, right? So it's not, I, I mean, I don't know until I see the catalog, I don't know, but I don't think you can look at something that was $5 and now it's going to be 10. I don't think it's going to be that dramatic of an increase, but we do know that with the new annual catalog, there will be price increases. So even if it's something that's going to carry forward, maybe it's cheaper to, well, it's for sure cheaper to buy it now because shipping's cheaper. So the, the frenzy that will be tomorrow <laughs> of people buying stuff because it is the last chance there is stuff on sale and it's before it goes up in price, right? So there's that. So there's lots to look forward to of new stuff and cool things. Um, but tomorrow will all be about trying to get those last minute deals, get that last stuff you want. So I will be putting in an order in the afternoon if anybody wants to get in on a group order or, or if you just find it easier just to tell me what you want and get me to order it for you. Um, or I will put in my newsletter when I send it out a link to my store. So all you have to do is click on it. It automatically goes and right straight to your door. If you need help with anything, I will be around all day tomorrow to help manage all of this. Now, some fun stuff. <laughs> not that not that shopping's not fun, but I mean, that's kind of businessy. So, paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin. I said that like it was a song. Normally, the first Monday after the 20th is when we know if there's going to be refills or not. This month, we do not know if there's refills yet because there was a, a few components of this kit had delays. So some of the first, like when they, they run Paper Pumpkin, all ships out on the 12th. And then they do a second run on the 20th for anybody who's had any issues with like the card not going through or math or, you know, different things. So that's usually how we know. But so a bunch, there's a bunch more delays this month. And so not all the orders have gone out. So right now we don't know if there's refills. But I can tell you, this is a popular kit. And I have only gotten as far as opening it up and I'm going to give you this much of a sneak peek. One, because I wanted to take this brochure out so I could show it to you today. Because um, I know there's always a brochure in there. And two, I can at least show you that there is two stamp sets in here. Because March is the anniversary anniversary month for Paper Pumpkin, there's usually an extra gift. One time it was a set of markers. One time it was a set of embellishments. One time it was a set of these wooden embellishments that were awesome. Um, this time it's an extra stamp set. And look how big this stamp set is. Here, I'll do it this way so it's a little easier to see. It's massive. And it says, time to celebrate, celebrate, sending you birthday wishes, best wishes, and has a couple multi-step flowers, which are gorgeous. And then here's the stamp set that came with it. And this little chevron-y, who knows what pattern, the one that's on the, oops, sorry, the one that's on the box. I absolutely love it. Um, and, and you know what? I'm going to do, one of my Thursdays is Technique Thursday. And I'm going to use this stamp. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble right now closing the box. There we go. Um, I'm going to use this stamp that's in here and maybe a couple others to show you how to do this yourself the easy way. This is the technique we're going to use because you're looking at this thinking, I love all these different colors, but I'm not going to color all those individual squares. No, you don't have to. There's a cool way to do this. I'm going to show you how in the next technique. Technique Thursday. This one comes with some ribbon like there. And this is a good size spool of ribbon that's in there and the ink spot. And then the horizon suite, which is beautiful. Um, this is in here. So Thursday's live is going to be uh, opening this kit, making the basic cards that come with it, and then making some alternatives. Um, one, I have not had time to get into it yet anyways, but two, I was going to do it live because <laughs> that's how I roll. So watch on Thursday, or if you've already been Googling and you've looked up the name of this kit, which is Beyond the Horizon, 
you will see a ton of samples. I've seen so many samples go by. And uh, even just to see the cards the way they were made, this is a beautiful kit. So if you want refills, let me know. Oh, look, I finally have something. I can't wait. For... Oh, I know, Dana. Tomorrow is such a big day. It's, oh. Did your did your paper pumpkin get run over? I'm trying I'm trying to make sure um, what that comment meant. Oh, that's I get so excited about this. I sit in my craft room, my office. I look out at the front street, and it's like TV for me. I get to watch the goings on. It's all sorts of fun. But that means I see every delivery that comes to my door. And when I see the lady get out of, she pulls into my driveway. She gets out of her little van, and she comes up with my little paper pumpkin kit, and I get so excited. Okay, so that's this one, and I will let you know when I know if there's refills, but if you already think, darn, I should have got that or I need more, let me know if you want refills. I'll put you on a list so that as soon as I know they came out, because I have a feeling the, these refills are going to go fast. I lost my train of thought halfway there. I don't know if I said it. Oh, ink all over the place. Oh my God, yes. These little ink spots are small, but I would be surprised, I would not be surprised that they have a lot of ink in them. <laughs> oh, that's tragedy. I realize there's bigger tragedies in the world. That, that is that is horrible, though, to have that happen. This is the brochure for the next kit. So if you want to order or you want to subscribe and get your kits monthly, you can sign up for April's kit. Um, it's called Change is Beautiful, and I don't have a lot of visuals for it because they haven't. So far, they've shown this, and then there's also been a picture of a branch with a chrysalis on it, I believe is a pr proper pronunciation. Um, it's all about how change is good. So the videos they've put out, there's a couple of videos, which I will at some point share along the way, but I was, I had all these other posts to do. I didn't want to inundate you with too many posts. Um, is a grad, a mom and a daughter during grad. One of the stamp sets I saw in one of the videos says, I believe in you. One of them says something about you could, they're, they're very encouraging and congratulatory about change. So let me know if you are interested in this kit or if you would like to sign up for the monthly thing and I will send you the link and show you how and everything. Um, so I'm moving stuff out of the way as I go. Gathering. Okay, so last two because holy cow, I'm past my half hour. Um, gathering. COVID's been weird. Let's just say that. And it's changed a whole bunch of things and how much we mix and how much we match and how many, how many you know, go, I, I feel weird going into other people's houses and I have feels weird having other people here and but and I'm slowly getting over it and I'm starting to realize that you know at some point we're going back to but I can tell you that the facility we had rented this weekend other than a couple little glitches um is an awesome place and it was so nice to have a room full of people laughing and loud and stamping and um we we had a I might have been a little over ambitious on how many projects um we had but fun homework finishing your cards is fun homework and um and we've already learned and we've already made revisions. So we already have a date planned for our Christmas extravaganza, which is the 22nd of October at the same facility. We, we've already decided we're going to get, instead of two rooms, which is what it was this weekend, two rooms with the wall down in the middle, we're going to get three rooms, take that third wall out. So we'll have a bit more space. We're going to add a whole bunch more tables, but only a few more people. So it's this, this weekend we had a limit of 30. We're going to switch that to 36, but we're going to only put two per table instead of four per table because and i mean come on look at my desk crafters tend to spread out and have a lot of stuff and we're going to also instead of doing a three hour extravaganza we're going to have it into like the full day with the same amount of projects but you have a full day to do it so you ha can do a little bit more and a little more chatting and visiting and you know it, it's funny because i i would do a full day event um and we thought, well, if we do all the prep for everybody, we'll, we'll shrink it down. And then maybe we can just have a shorter event because it's new. We don't want to, you know, people have got to phase back into all of this stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was ambitious, but it was fun. And the, and oh, the projects, the Mother's Day and Father's Day, that was kind of the key of it. Or making even just a bunch of spring projects for stuff. Uh, these two suites with the tulips and with the, the sports suite. I just love them. I had so much fun using them. So that's coming up. So watch for that. The gathering. <laughs> gathering. Um, on the 22nd of October. We will send more information out once we get the Christmas mini. So the holiday mini that comes out for customers in June. We will see it in May. So we'll have a little bit of a head start. We'll start planning for that. So start watching for that. The 11th of June, which is... I'm going to double check because as soon as I say that, I'm thinking, did I pick the right day? Uh, 11th of June, we're going to be doing a retired product sale at the same building. 
here in Morinville. And I'm going to start posting for that fairly soon too. So if you want to stock up on some other retired product, maybe it's something from days gone by and um, you missed it. Uh, this stuff is priced to go, man. Got to make room. There's going to be about six demonstrators doing it. And I think we're all at the point. Yes, it was the 11th of June. I think we're all at the point of, I just need to get this out of my house to make room for the new stuff. So many deals to be had. And then the final gathering, and the final thing I wanted to mention is Stampin' Up! is doing a fundraiser for the humanitarian efforts in the Ukraine. In Ukraine. As a, uh, uh, side note, as a kid, all the time it was, I don't know why it was, we always said the Ukraine. They're from the Ukraine. And I work with a lovely lady when I worked and before she moved to the East Coast. Uh, a lovely, lovely lady. And every time I would say it, I would, I would know it was wrong to say the Ukraine. I know it was just Ukraine. And I would try to connect, correct myself. And the one time she, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know why growing up, everybody used to say it differently. And she said, well, would you ever say I live in the Canada? At which point you go, um, no. So it's still, I still slip sometimes. And uh, every time I do it, though, I instantly know how wrong it sounds. <laughs> and I, I, so she's in my thoughts, her and her family there all the time. So lately that, uh, ugh. anyways, Stamp It Up is going to do a little fundraiser for the humanitarian effort there. And they're going to be doing some blue and yellow projects. And I suspect projects with this gorgeous, this, this happens to be one of the stamp sets that's on sale right now. Uh, this is stamps and dies. I should have cut the other die. There's also a die that cuts out like just like a, um, like you can make an entire cardstock uh, sunflower. They're gorgeous. So sunflowers being the national flower of Ukraine and some blue and yellow cards. Now this is on April 1st at two in the afternoon. So I get that that may not be the most convenient time for everybody, but, um, and see if you're at work, maybe you can't do it, but the CEO of Stampin' Up, she gets to craft at work, lucky girl. So she's doing a online. So hers will be a Facebook live and then there will be chances to do it. We don't have a ton of information on it yet. Um, I am planning on joining in. And if any of you guys, my, my peeps want to join in, um, let me know. And as soon as I get more information from her and have a better idea what the plan is, and if not, I'll just come up with my own plan because that's what I do. I'm going to make some little kits together so people can make some blue and yellow and sunflowery cards. And I haven't designed them yet. Um, I have ideas, but right now I have this like super beautiful detailed flower. And when I put a solid color behind it, I think, and eh, I got to find a better transition. So I will be coming up with something, but they'll just be like a few little kits to make a few cards. Um, and so you can join in on the, on the fun of crafting as a big honking group. And then, um, we'll get more information on what the actual, um, how you can help donate and stuff like that once we know it. So that's on April 1st. So save the date for that too. Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff we have. So we have new in colors coming. There will be clubs, watch for the information. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, April 1st, that's one crafting experience. Thursday, I'm going to be doing the this paper pumpkin. Let me know if you want any refills. Let me know if you want ah, April's kit. Let me know if you need any information about extravaganza at Christmas time. A uh, bunch of stuff on sale. Last chance list coming out tomorrow. Prices going up, lots to be had. <laughs> so like I said, I will recap some of this if you have questions on any of this. But what you need to do, like the most, the first most important thing coming up is tomorrow at one o'clock, I'm going to get the new PDF and I am going to hold myself back and not dive into it straight away. I, I'm going to make my priority posting the retiring list so you guys all know what the sales are and what's going. And then I will be standing by. Operators are standing by. Uh, to help you with any orders you have, any questions you have, so you can maximize getting anything you want before it's gone. Hello, Tamara. You came in at just the right time, so I can say goodbye. Um, yes, operators are standing by tomorrow. I, I, I get. It. I mean, everything's going on. Times are tough. Money is not abundant necessarily, but when they say last chance, they mean it. A lot of stuff is going to sell out tomorrow. So if there is anything you have got to have. Um, let me know because I, and I mean, I can watch to a certain point to see if stuff goes on, but I think tomorrow things will go on low inventory and sell out so quickly that they will not actually show up on. Oh, hello, Nikki. I didn't see your name pop up there. Um, uh, I don't think I'll have time to say, oh, this is low inventory. I think it will just be like low inventory sold out before we even know. So watch for the list at one o'clock tomorrow. So you don't miss out on anything. And then, um, and then I will send out 
later in the day I'll have a chance to look through the PDF and I'll be able to send out more information um, it, as I have it about stuff and hopefully I will have a better idea what's going on with um, the April fundraiser. I'll send that information out as soon as I can and links to all of these other things that I've talked about today will be in my newsletter tomorrow. But yeah, the first thing on that list is going to be last chance and uh, here's the list of stuff and the sales. So I managed to get through this entire Facebook without technical issues and I am so excited. I am still going to work on, on figuring out what in the devil is wrong with my YouTube and uh, why I cannot make that work. Um, but, you know, one of these days I'm going to get it all going in the same direction at the same time. Won't that be a good day? Uh, let's see. 45 minutes. Okay, so I went over by 15, but, you know, I guess my, my ultimate cap was an hour, but this one I was trying to keep down to just half an hour because I didn't have any any crafting to do. I just had so much information to tell you, and I thought it would be better to do this with a summary tomorrow than try to write a 75-page newsletter explaining it all. So... Thank you everybody who joined. Thank you everybody who's watching this later. And um, yeah, exciting day tomorrow, annual catalog day. <laughs> and again, you want to get in on the excitement of seeing the PDF? Let me know. I will send you the link so you can join up and be a demo. And then boom, you can be in on the on all the uh, the early bird stuff the demos get. Thank you everybody for joining me. Um, I, like I said, I will be standing by tomorrow for your questions. Watch for all the information. And we have one more in color to be revealed later tonight. Um, we don't know till 6 o'clock, so the post will be shortly after 6 with that fifth in color. And I would love to know your thoughts on these colors. I love them. All the ones I've seen so far, love them. Would like to know what you think. Thanks, everybody. Have a fabulous Tuesday, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.